Hey everyone, this is Marvel Zero, this is part 7 of Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New World. So, when I last left off, I was preparing to siege Addis Ababa, and I think I'm actually going to do this on the next turn. I'm going to upgrade this guy, even though I only have 103 gold right now, but I'm doing it. I will get more gold per turn in just a moment, when I finish my cargo ship in Ulundi. So, that shouldn't really be a big problem. And... I don't think I can do anything else on this turn. I don't think I can really move any of these units around. Not this guy, not really. Okay, so this will have to stay like this. Alright, so as I said, I'm going to get started on the next turn because I can't really wait any longer. I do think that it's now or never. Every single turn that I wait it brings me closer to defeat, basically, because he might research something like gunpowder, start getting musket men, and then I'm basically screwed. If he starts building or recruiting gunpowder units, then this is just game over. There's no way I can win against gunpowder units. I'm still not sure if I will be able to actually keep this city, because the biggest problem right now that I could face is that Yes, I will be able to take the city, but then he's going to flip it back on the next turn, because he has a lot of units back there. I do think he has a lot of ships, but I just have to take the risk. I don't really have a choice, as I said, so I'm going to get started right now, on the next turn. Let's get rid of this guy. So, my general plan is to move all four trebuchets in range. So then I can fire with all four. I have a lot of firepower with all four trebuchets. Possibly help with some of my other crossbowmen. And moving the impis to melee range. So this one goes here. This one goes here. And this one will go here. But I should be able to get rid of that composite bowmen. If I do something like this. And move this guy here. Now I can fire twice. With both of these crossbowmen units. And that should be enough to kill him. I think. I hope. Yes, it's definitely going to be enough. So then I can move in with the impi and plunder the farm to heal myself back a little bit. I'm probably still going to lose the impi, but I'm going to make it a little bit harder for him at least. So now I can move in here and pillage this, which will heal me by 25, like so. And yes, I'm improving the ivory and moving the settler down here. I think I'm actually going to wait with this settler and not start the city yet. I'm definitely not going to start this city until I'm done with the siege because that would bring me into negative happiness and I can't afford negative happiness right now. Okay, so the cargo ship is done. Now I have to go for this trade route with Lisbon. Yes, I will be get, giving Portugal some gold, but it doesn't really matter all that much. I need the gold myself. I actually need to work on my economy a little bit, but I'm going for Colosseum here. And in my capital, I'm going to finish the workshop and then grab university as soon as education is done. I could get another cargo ship in here. Hmm. I could still get a trade route with Lisbon from Bulawayo. So that might not be a bad idea, actually. Yeah, I seriously need a better income right now, especially since I'm going to lose Buenos Aires as my ally sometime soon. I'm down to 67. Anyway, so now I'm going to move in with the impis, both of these, like so. Keep the other one in the back as reinforcements, basically, just in case I'll need him, which I might. And, and this is it, basically. I'm going to get started on the next turn. Oh yeah, hold on, no, this is not it. I didn't move my last trebuchet over here, so now I did. These ships are going to do a ton of damage to me. But this is, as I said, this is now or never. I don't think there's any point waiting, because with his city, with the massive production that he has in this city, and with the manufactory over here, he's actually producing units faster than I can kill them. So it's just pretty pointless waiting here. Anyway, it's already done. I'm committed to this siege, so I'm either going to succeed or fail. There's no alternative. <laughs> I can't move back now. I will focus on the city with all four of my trebuchets, regardless of how many units he's going to bring. Yeah, I already lost that MP, but I knew this is going to happen. Oh wow. 
he has a lot of units over here. But this only convinces me that this was the right move, because it would be a waste of time just sitting here and fighting his units. I could just stay here forever and keep fighting him, then he would bring gunpowder units and I would be completely screwed. Anyway, I'm already doing this, so there's no turning back now. Let's see, I think I got heal promotion on this guy. I mean, I got a promotion on this guy, so I can use it for heal instantly. Right, I'm going to start from the obvious, which is using all four of my trebuchets to bombard the city. Let's see how much damage I can do. I'm hoping to be able to get the city down to one health in two turns. But we'll see if it's going to happen or not. It's a shame I don't have volley upgrade on every single trebuchet, but there was no way to get that, unfortunately. I would have loved to have volley on every single trebuchet. Okay, one more shot. Okay, so now I could move this impi over here to block the way. Just to prevent these two melee units from hitting my ranged units, that's the basic idea. Now, I can still fire with this crossbowman. I could target the knight, but I'm going to target the city. I need to do as much damage as possible to the city. There we go. The general was in range of everything, but I could move him here. I want the general to reach my impi over there, so I could move him here. I think this is the best move in this situation. Right, I can't do anything with this crossbowman. I could move him here because I think I'm going to lose some of these units to these melee units. But that's it. Let's continue this road. And I'm going to keep this cellar over here for now and wait for my ivory improvement. Four more turns to construct a camp. Because if I start a city right now, I'm going to drop into negative happiness and that will give me a combat penalty. That would only be 4% combat penalty since I would be at minus 2. But that 4% could decide the outcome of this war. So I don't want to take any risks like that. Alright, I can't fire at anything with this crossbowman, sadly. I can fire with this one. I could swap them and then fire with this guy. That's probably better, considering this one is wounded and the other one is not. But this one is disposable, while this one is not. So I think I'll fire with this guy. So what do I target? I could target the knight. I will do more damage because of open terrain bonus. Alright, let's do it. The knight is the more dangerous unit here, I suppose. Also, I could just move this crossbowman here. Maybe I should do that. I mean, he can't kill all of these units at once. He has to focus on some of them. And I'd rather lose crossbowman than trebuchet. He could move with this knight over here and then attack my trebuchet. So I'm going to block the way with my crossbowman. As much as it pains me to sacrifice crossbowman with that many upgrades. I think this is the best move in this situation, so I'm going to fortify the impis, and this is going to be the moment of truth. Okay, mint is done. What now? Oh yeah, I need a workboat here, don't I? Yes, I do. So let's grab the workboat. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's on the top of the list. Oh yeah, it's here, alright. I'm really excited to see how this is going to end. The biggest problem right now is not whether I can take the city or not, because I have enough firepower to take it, but actually keeping it. I don't think he's going to accept peace as soon as I take the city, that seems unlikely. Yeah, I'm about to lose this MP. So I'm down to two melee units? Yeah, that's not great. I obviously need melee units to actually be able to take the city at all. So this is not ideal. I think I have to withdraw with this other MP. If I have to flip the city, then I'm going to lose melee unit inside, and I'll have to use a different one, obviously. Wow, I didn't actually lose this crossbowman, that's impressive. Okay, so, now, this is the most important moment of this war, but holy crap, he has a lot of units around here. I don't know if I will be able to do this. Another city-state? Whatever. They seek investors, yeah, that's not me. Do I look like an investor with 85 gold in my treasury? No, definitely not. Alright, so let's see if I can do enough damage to actually take the city on this turn. That would be best. I actually have to take it on this turn, to be honest. So, this is going to be enough damage, I think. 
This is going to be extremely close. So is this enough or should I use my crossbowman too? I don't know man. I have to withdraw with my impi because I have to keep one melee unit to flip the city after this because this is pretty obvious that I will have to flip the city. I'm going to attack it one more time and this is definitely going to be enough. Okay, I'm going for it now. He's obviously going to take it back on his next turn, so this is not over yet. We're not in the clear. But let's create Puppet and view the city. What does he have inside here? Alhambra, Angkor Wat, Chichen Itza, Hanging Gardens and Temple of Artemis. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> University, Market Bank, lots of buildings, Cathedral. Yeah, that's part of his religion. Awesome city. But yeah, as I said, now I'm going to flip this city. Because there's no way he's going to sign peace like this. No, that's not very likely. In fact, that's quite impossible. Alright, well. I'll do my best to actually do this. But I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. I only have one melee unit left, so that's... Less than optimal, to say the least. I will have to use that specific MP to retake the city. And I will have to retake the city on the next turn. I want to save my crossbowmen, to be honest. But I don't want to lose my siege units. If I'll have to flip the city, I will have to use all four of my siege units, most likely. This is pretty tough. Do I withdraw this unit or not? Okay, let's withdraw him. I hope that was not a mistake. Okay, let's see what happens now. Well, I know what happens. He's going to retake this. As I said, this is pretty obvious. Yes, he's taking it back. But now I will be able to take it myself. It will be down to free population, unfortunately, but that's kind of unavoidable. I'm about to lose this unit, I think. Was this the disposable one? I'm not sure. I guess I'll check when my turn starts. But that was not a big price to pay so far. I saved my upgraded crossbowman. Okay, so now I have to take the city again. I should have enough firepower left. And when I take the city again, it should have more health left, I think. Actually, no, it won't. It will just have a longer bar, but this will be the exact same amount of health. Anyway, maybe he will be willing to sign peace. Oh, World Congress founded. Oh, okay, so now I'm going to meet all the other leaders. So, Austria. Maybe I can get some trades in right away. That's actually kind of helpful. I want to trade for actual luxuries. Because I'm going to need happiness. I'm going to need a lot of happiness. No. I do have gold to trade. Embassy. Let's try him. Do you have any luxuries? Yes. So silver or marble? I might have a quest for... I mean, not a quest, but I might be able to get Will of the King Day in one of my cities with that. So let's check it before I flip the city again. Uh, no. Silk, whales, copper, incense. So it doesn't matter which one I take. I don't see any marble or silver anywhere around here. Right, I'll get that trade once I take the city. So now I'm concentrating all my firepower. Yeah, I have more than enough firepower. So I need to think which units I'm going to use for this. Because I might be able to kill some of these guys. And he might be more willing to accept peace if I kill them. Oh, nice. I got volley upgrade. A little bit too late for that, but whatever. Okay, so I can take the city with my MP. I just need to do a little bit more damage. Okay, let's attack with this dude. He has the volley upgrade. And this will bring the city down to one health. Now I can take the city with my MP. This is my last melee unit. Holy crap, he has a lot of ships. Okay. Create puppet. Now I can kill some of these units. I have two more shots on my trebuchets. I have some shots on my crossbowmen. So I could target the longswordsmen or the swordsmen. I can definitely kill the swordsmen. I don't think I can kill the longswordsmen. And I got another volley. A little bit too late for that, but better late than never, I suppose. Okay, let's kill this guy. And then I'll see if he's actually willing to accept peace. I hope he is, because there's no way I can defend this city. With so many ships, he would be able to just take it again on the next turn. That's pretty obvious, unfortunately. So let's have one more shot and see if he's willing to accept peace. 
Because if not, I might have to just give this city to one of the other leaders. I could gift it to Arabia. Harun is at 280 score. Well, let's see. Okay, he's actually willing to negotiate, so... Let's see if I can get some gold out of him. I mean, I did just take his capital. So he should be willing to pay me for this. Like so. No. 150. 100. Okay. What? Only two gold per turn? Really? I want more than that, dude. I just took your friggin' capital. 100. I'm just going to go down by 50 or so. And then reduce the amount of gold per turn that I want. 18? No. Yeah. What about 15? No. I'll just go down by one gold at a time. Because he should be willing to pay me at least something. I mean, you just saw a moment ago, he was willing to pay me a bit. And right now I prefer gold. He doesn't have any luxury resources that I can take from him. 8 gold, 7. 6, come on dude. 5. Four. There we go, he accepted. Okay, so this concludes one of the most epic sieges and one of the most epic wars that I had in Civilization V. I mean, even if this game is lost right now, which I don't know if it is, I will have to go through Info Addict to check, but even if the game is lost, I'm not even mad because this was very, very fun. This was one of the best wars that I had in Civilization V. So even if I lost the entire game, I'm not even mad. But I don't know if I did. Let's go through Info Addict. Let's see what's left in this city. All the wonders are obviously left. I got Forge, Library, Temple, Water Mill, Caravanserie. I still have University. I don't have Harbor. So I might have to actually finish this road, which is almost done. And... I have to wait 3 turns, so actually the benefit of flipping this city is in uh, a few times is that I don't have a massive uh, happiness penalty and I don't have to wait like 12 turns because if I was able to defend the city the first time I took it I would have to wait 12 turns to get the city out of resistance and I would have a massive negative happiness Anyway, let's see if I can trade for some luxuries right now So I can get Maru for go oh yeah, I do have crabs as well, right. Oh, did I just take it from the capital? Well, anyway, I can trade for two luxuries. Oh yeah, I took crabs from here, right, okay. So, can I get any more luxuries? I don't think anyone else actually had any for trade. Or if, if they even want any of my stuff, but let's check anyway. Okay, she has sold, but she doesn't want anything from me. What about Portugal? No. I guess I'll just have to sell this for money. Oh, and yeah, I can get embassy with him and check where his new capital is. Right here. Oh, wow. 18 population in his secondary city. No wonder he was number one when his secondary city is almost 20 population. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's quite impressive. Okay, so I still want to trade the luxury. I'll just trade it for gold per turn. No one has any luxuries that I could take, so 6 gold per turn with Ramses. Okay, so, now, let's go through Info Addict. I won't be getting anything from this city just yet, because I need the city to get out of resistance. And it will be in resistance for 3 more turns. I will have to grow it rapidly, as fast as I can. I'll have to repair all of these improvements, connect the road. But I'm not sure if I'm still in this game. That's a good question. Technologies. I'm 8 technologies behind Greece, which is the current technology leader. I'm... yeah. I'm significantly behind in science rate. I'm 130 behind. I should be able to get some science from this city, but I'm not sure if I can actually catch up. I'm actually going to finish uh, on this turn. And because I need to think about what I have to do in this game to still have a chance. So, what would I have to do to still stay in this game? Feel free to post any of your opinions in the comments below, especially if you have experience on very high difficulty levels. If, is this game still possible to win, in your opinion, and what I would have to do to actually do it? I'll think about this myself, and that's why I'm going to finish this video here. It's going to be a little bit shorter than my standard video, but I don't want to continue just yet without having some sort of solid plan. 
So, I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.